we'll see another line clipping algorithm in computer graphics that is the lang basque line clipping algorithm so now let's see what are the topics that i am going to cover in this video so we'll see what exactly the lang basque line clipping algorithm and what exactly the algorithm is and we will try to implement that algorithm by using an example so by the end of this video you'll get a complete clarity on what this lang basque line clipping algorithm okay so what is this line clipping algorithm you all know the about the line clipping algorithms right so it is a line clipping algorithm in this algorithm the parametric equation of the line is used and for inequalities we will used a parametric equation we are using at the same time we are using the four inequalities to find the range of the parameter for which the line is in the viewport or solved right so we are considering the parametric equation and we are considering the four inequalities also so it was developed by the yong dong lang and bray brain a basque so with the help of those names it uh, those two persons names it keep it as a name as a lang basque line clipping algorithm okay so it is a more efficient algorithm and it is considered to be the faster parametric line clipping algorithm so when compared to other line clipping algorithms this is a faster parametric line clipping algorithm and there are two concepts using in lang basque algorithm that is parametric equation of a line that is one and that is what i said we have to find the inequalities the four inequalities explains the range of the clipping window that helps in determine the intersection between the line and the clip window so why we are considering these inequalities which are useful for uh, to find the range of the clipping window okay and that points or determines the intersection between the lines and the clip window our final motto is what so whatever the window is there uh, the clipping window so the polygon that is present inside the clipping window that we need to be considered okay means here we have to consider only the line that is present inside the clipping window okay so only this this uh, point uh, polygon we need to be considered right now let's see the algorithm for any given line the parametric equation is given by you all know the parametric equation right so uh, what is that parametric equation p0 is equal to p0 plus t into p1 minus uh p not so this is a parametric equation so if you consider any line x is equal to x1 plus t into x2 minus x1 and the y is equal to y1 plus t into y2 minus y1 where this time t is a time time is in between 0 and 1 so if you consider a points p not and the p1 okay and the point p not will start at time is equal to 0 and end the line with time at time t is equal to 1 so whatever the point that is intersected in between these that time we need to be find out right so always the time should be less than 0 is less than t and less than 1 so the intersection time the point uh, that is intersection points the time should be always in between 0 to 1 this is what the point clipping coordinates in the parametric form is shown below so that is x window minimum is less than or equal to x1 plus t into x2 minus x1 less than or equal to x window maximum so means considering the clipping window okay the clip, clipping window xw uh, minimum sorry xw minimum and xw yw minimum and here xw maximum and yw maximum and here xw minimum and yw maximum and here xw maximum and yw maximum so this is minimum sorry this is minimum so this is what the coordinates of the clipping window i am talking about the window not the uh, polygon a polygon so so these are all these inequalities can be considered as tpk less or equal to qk now let's see suppose where k is equal to 1 2 3 4 indicates left right bottom and top boundaries so if you considered any polygon okay this is left right uh, left right top boundaries left right bottom top boundaries okay so these are the four boundaries are there so that is k is equal to 1 2 3 4 where p and q are defined as p1 is equal to 
minus x2 minus 1 q1 is equal to x1 minus xw1. So, this is if you want to find the left boundary, this is the formula, right boundary, this is the formula and bottom boundary and top boundary. If lines parallel to the view boundary, suppose if whatever the lines that are parallel to the view boundaries, okay, then the p value is 0. If p value is 0, then the lines are parallel only. If pk value is less than 0, lies goes outside to inside, that is entering, line is entering. If pk is greater than 0, lies goes from inside to outside, that is exiting, the line is exiting. If p is equal to, pk is equal to 0 and qk is equal to less than 0, then the line is trivial inside, that is outside view boundary. When pk is equal to 0 and qk should be greater than 0, then the line is inside the corresponding boundary window. So, these are all the uh, points that you have to be noted. Okay, if you want to find the left draw. So, I will explain with an example. Do not worry about it. The positions of the lines can be determined by this. pk is equal to 0 means parallel to the clipping line. Okay, that is parallel to the clipping line boundary. So, this is, okay, it is a line. So, here parallel to the clipping boundary, it is a parallel to the clipping boundary. That means there is no need to clip either inside or outside, whatever it may be, either inside or outside. Okay, pk is equal to 0. If pk is equal to 0 and pk is less than 0, outside boundary, whatever I explained just now, I had written everything in the tabular form so that it will be easy for you to uh, identify. Inside and clipping window, pk is less than 0, lines proceed from outside. pk is greater than 0, lines proceeds from inside to outside. So, these are the parameter values at time T1 and the T2 can be calculated, which defines the part of the line lies within the clipping rectangular. And this is a formula. Suppose if, if it is 0, then no need to clip if it is 0. The problem is if K, PK is less than 0, then you have to take the maximum or maximum 0 comma QK by PK. Remember this formula. If suppose PK is greater than 0, if it is greater than 0, you have to take the point minimum is equal, the time you have to take 1 comma QK by PK. This is the time you have to be taken. If T1 is, if you, for, if you uh, this, let's take this is T1 and the T2. If T1 is less than T2, then the line is rejected because the line is completely outside the clipping window. Otherwise, the endpoints of the clip lines are calculated from the two values of the parametric equation. So, this is how you have to form one. Now, let us try to uh, work out that points, whatever the points I said with an example. Okay. Let me take this. This is, okay, polygon. So, polygon XW minimum, that is, a minimum point is 5, okay, and y minimum is 5. Let us take this is B. So, B is XW maximum y minimum. XW maximum is 9 and y minimum W minimum is 5, okay. And this is C. X is maximum, y is maximum. 9, comma, 9. Okay, and finally D. So, D is X is minimum, Y is maximum. X minimum. X minimum means 5. Maximum means 9. So, these are the points of the window, the clipping window. Now, a line. Considered a line. So, let us take this is a line. So, this is P1. A given it as a 4, 12. And this is P2. Given it as a 8, 8. Okay, at time t is equal to 0 and t is equal to 1. What we have to be find out? First, we have to find out the time. That is the entry time. Okay, entry time. And the intersection point. And we have to find whether the points that... Uh, so, by applying the line bus is clipping algorithm, we need to find whether the line is present inside or outside the clipping window. So, that you have to be fine. Now, let us start working on. So, clearly P1 and P2 is a line and A, B, C, D or the window. That is cleared, right? Now, so you know the P1 value 4, 12 and P2 value is 8, 8. Now, let us calculate the delta X. Delta X is equal to X2 minus X1. That is 8 minus 4, you will get 4. And delta Y is equal to Y2 minus Y1. So, y2 minus y1, 8 minus 12 means you will get minus 4. You will get minus 4. And xw minimum is 5, xw maximum is 9 and these are all points you know. 
Now P1 is equal to minus delta x. P1 is equal to minus delta x. Okay, that means minus 4. And P2 is equal to delta x. That is 4. And P3 is equal to whatever the formula that I had explained in the algorithm that I am applying here. So, this is the formula P1, P2, P3, P4. I am applying this formula and I am writing the Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. You just remember these points and apply to find out the left boundary, right boundary, bottom boundary and top boundary. So, I am using that formulas and I have calculated minus delta y is equal to 4 and p4 is equal to delta y that is minus 4. These are p1, p1, p2, p3. Now q1 is equal to what is the formula? x1 minus xw minimum that is 4 minus 5 you will get minus 1. In the same way if you for q2, q2 means xw maximum minus x1 that is 9 minus 4 you will get 5. And Q3 is equal to Y1 minus YW minimum. 12 minus 5 you will get 7. And Q4 is equal to Y maximum minus YW maximum minus Y1. 9 minus 12 you will get minus 3. So you got all the coordinates Q1, Q2, Q3 and P1, P2, P3, P4. Now observations has to be made from the values of PK and QK. Where K is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's try to observe. Clearly, if you see clearly, PK is not equal to 0. Whether P1 is, okay, P1 is, uh, PK means 1, 2, 3, 4. If you take P1, P2, P3, P4, these are not equal to 0. Either they are less than 0 or greater than 0, right? Minus 4, 4, 4, minus 4. So, either it less than 0 or greater than 0. Which means if P1 is not equal to, PK is not equal to 0, that lines is not parallel to the clipping window. One thing is clear. They are not parallel to the clipping window. Means they are intersecting somewhere. They are intersecting somewhere. Okay. Now, let's take the case 1. Case 1. So, if PK is less than 0, less than 0 means what? This is 1 and this is 1. P1 and P4 you need to be take less than 0. So, find the value of the T. The new value of T1 is maximum of 0 comma QK by PK. This is I already explained in the algorithm. So, see here. If PK is less than 0, this is the formula to find out. 0 comma QK comma PK. So, so, if you substitute your values, you will get the new T1 value. So, the T1 value. So, you all know that uh, Q maximum of QK means you have to take P1 as well as P4. Q1 comma P1. Q4 comma P4. So, then you will get 0 comma minus 1 minus 4 minus 3 minus 4. So, you, here you have to take the final the value is T1 is 3 by 4. 3 by 4. Okay. So, now let's take the another case. Case 2. So, if PK is greater than 0. If PK is greater than 0, then find the value of T2. So, T2 is equal to minimum of 1 comma P, uh, QK. Sorry. A QK by PK. So, that is minimum of 1 comma, you have to take P1 and P3, right? Uh, P2 and P3 you have to take. 5 by 4 comma 7 by 4. So, from this T2 is equal to, you have to take the minimum minimum value. You have to take the minimum value. Here you have to take the maximum value because this is max. In this you need to take the maximum value. And here you have to take the minimum value. From all this the minimum value should be the 1. So, you take the minimum value. So, now case 3. Check now check T1 is greater than T2. So what you got the T1, T2 is 1 you got and T1 is 3 by 4. 3 by 4 means it's around point. So point something. Is T1 is greater than 0? Okay. If it is true, then the line is completely outside and reject. But it is not, uh, but here T1 is less than T2. Here T1 is less than T2. If T1 is greater than T2, then reject it. Line is completely outside. Now, T1 is less than T2 means that is 3 by 4 is less than 1. 
So, use the given formula that is x is equal to x1 plus uh, t delta x and y is equal to y1 plus t delta y. So, okay. So, then you will get if you substitute the values. So, 4 plus x1, y1, the points of P1 and x2, y2, the points of P2. Okay. And the t value first, let's take 3 by 4. 3 by 4 into 4. Uh, and here, 12 plus 3 by 4 into minus 4. So, you will get 7 and here you will get 9. Okay. So, the, you got the points at 7, 9. Now, let's take the t for t t is equal to t2, x is equal to 4 plus, now take the value of 1, 1 into 4, 8 and y is equal to 12 plus 1 into 4, minus 4, you will get 8, okay and here you will get the point set 8 comma 8. So, clearly by seeing these two points, it is clearly the line is inside window, line is inside window. How can you say that the line that is whatever the points that you can that that is the inside window because 7 comma 8 and 8 comma 8 if you see this diagram so the 7 comma 8 and 8 comma 8 this is 8 and the here this is a 7 comma 8 so which is this is a point so 7 comma 8 and 8 comma 8 which is a inside line you got okay so, this is about this algorithm. So, I hope you understand. Still, if you are facing any doubts, please let me know. Thank you.